Your business relies on smooth network operations. So losing access to your switch because of a forgotten password can cause a bit of panic, especially if you're new to managing network devices. Knowing how to recover a password can save you from unnecessary downtime and potential security risks. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to perform password recovery for Catalyst 1200 and 1300 series switches. Next. For this example, I'll use a Windows PC. First, open the device manager on the PC and select ports. Once the computer is connected to the console port on the switch, identify which COM port is being used. In this example, it is COM3. Next, open PuTTY and choose the connection type as serial. Ensure the serial line is COM3 and set the speed to 115-200. At the bottom, select Serial, leave the initial settings as default, and set Flow Control to None. After the settings are configured, return to the Session menu and click Open. To proceed, restart the switch by unplugging the power source. Once you plug the power source back, the switch will begin booting. After a moment, a two-second message will appear. Press Enter to abort the process. You will now see the startup menu. Choose option three for the password recovery procedure and press Enter. Then press Escape to exit the boot menu and allow the switch to bypass the password and username requirement. After a few seconds, the switch will finish booting and you will have access to it. Enter the command enable and type config t. You can then change the password by typing the command username followed by the desired username. You can use the existing username or create a new one. Then enter the word password followed by the new password and set the privilege level to 15. The privilege level must be set to 15 to grant the user full access to the device. If not, a password will be required to access enable mode the next time you log in. Exit the global configuration mode, save the changes with the command write, and then select yes to confirm. Reboot the device by entering the command reload and confirm by typing Y for yes. Now you can access the switch with the username and password you created. It's important to note that if the no service password recovery has been configured, you can still access the boot menu and initiate the password recovery process. However, in this scenario, all configuration files and user files will be removed. That's it. Just a few simple steps for password recovery on your Catalyst 1200 or 1300 series switch. For more details on service password recovery, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.